Hi, my name is Danny. Today we're actually going to be reviewing the Panasonic G9 here at the Taste Edmonton Vessel in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Brought to you by McBain Camera and Panasonic Canada. This is actually their flagship camera for stills oriented shooters. However, there are plenty of video capabilities as well in the camera itself. So we're actually going to be grabbing some food tickets and we're going to be tasting and eating a bit of everything while shooting with this camera. It's incredible. Oh, awesome. you shoot the picture? Yeah, for sure. Or awesome, thank you. <laughs> I am actually using the EVF at the same time, but I'm actually touching and dragging the focus point wherever I want while I'm still in the EVF. I can actually pinch to make it bigger or smaller, and I can still tap and take the shot. Mm. Oh good. One of the things when I switched over from uh, from D DSLRs to uh, mirrorless was actually losing that top LCD. This thing is uh, incredible. I can actually literally just close this. No more chimping and pretty much just work off of just this closure comp right there, ISO, white balance. And if I'm in the dark, just flick on the light. This camera is oriented for pro stills photography. However, there are a lot of features for someone who wants to do a bit of both. 4K, which is kind of like the standard now, 4K 60 frames per second, does do full 1080 at 60 frames per second. However, there is a slow-mo mode built, three times slow-mo built into it at full 1080, 180 frames per second. It is a fun, it is a joy to use. Doesn't have as high of a bit rate compared to the GH5. However, it is quite capable as well. You guys might have noticed the body has gotten quite a bit larger in comparison to other mirrorless cameras. Mirrorless cameras have been getting a little bit bigger, but the system as a whole still is quite small. 12 to 35, equivalent to 2470 2.8. Nice and small. Take the hood off here as well. Look at that. <laughs> this is the 35 to 100 2.8 version 2. This is your 7200 full frame equivalent. Just look at that. <laughs> it's tiny. They both support dual IS with the in-body image stabilization and up to six and a half stops, which is quite incredible. Another thing I really want to highlight on this incredible camera is the big, bright EVF. It does have 100% viewfinder coverage. It has an incredibly fast uh, 120 frames per second refresh rate. You can also slow it down to about 60 if you like as well. Another feature I'm going to highlight on this camera is the amazing autofocus that it does have. 225 depth by defocus autofocus points. It is still a contrast based detect focus only, but it is very reliable. It is fast. <laughs> Catching the water coming up and able to freeze the motion. Look at that. <laughs> Water droplets. <laughs> Amazing. Now I'm gonna actually put, throw it into a burst mode and we're gonna actually try shooting the water as it comes up. So I should mention that this thing does shoot up to 60 frames per second on the e-shutter as well. So I just caught, it's almost like a little movie and I was just recording and it's just like following it up the whole way. It's incredible. <laughs> Man, the camera's getting kind of dusty. I should just rinse it off. <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. All clean. All good to go. <laughs> so in closing, this camera has incredible video features, incredibly fast autofocus as well, incredible 5-axis image stabilization. It's just an incredible camera. Very rugged. Nice, fast EVF, uh, just a beautiful camera. I would definitely highly recommend it for anyone looking to lighten the load a little bit in their pack and just sick and tired of carrying those big DSLRs. We just want to thank all of our sponsors at Panasonic Canada. You can follow us in the links below on our Instagram page at McBain Camera. Thanks for watching.